In this video, we'll break down the Powered Lift SFAR, the document released by the FAA on October 21, 2024, that sets the stage for the future of EV toll operations. These regulations are a monumental step towards safely integrating powered lift aircraft into the National Airspace System (NAS). On November 21, 2024, the FAA officially published its regulations for powered lift aircraft, including EV tolls. These rules establish pilot certification standards, operational requirements, and airspace integration guidelines, ensuring these advanced aircraft can coexist safely with traditional aviation. With a 10-year experimental period built in, the FAA has prioritized both innovation and safety, providing a framework to support the rapid evolution of urban air mobility. This isn't just about flying cars, it's about creating a revolutionary mode of transportation. These rules have the potential to unlock urban air mobility, reduce traffic congestion, and transform urban infrastructure. By the end of this video, you'll have a deeper understanding of how these regulations will shape the skies for decades to come. Welcome to our channel. The FAA's new regulations mark a historic milestone in aviation, formally recognizing powered lift aircraft as a distinct category. Powered lift vehicles such as EV tolls combine the capabilities of helicopters and airplanes, offering vertical takeoff and landing with efficient forward flight. This hybrid capability presents unique regulatory challenges that the FAA has addressed through the Powered Lift SFAR. Effective January 21, 2025, the regulations establish a framework for safely incorporating EV tolls into the National Airspace System NAS. These rules ensure that EV tolls can operate alongside traditional aircraft without compromising safety or efficiency. The FAA requires pilots to obtain a powered lift type rating, ensuring proficiency in the distinct flight dynamics of these vehicles. For example, a pilot flying the Joby S4 must demonstrate mastery of transitioning between hover and cruise modes. For EV tolls with simplified controls, such as single pilot station designs, the FAA has introduced alternative certification pathways to streamline pilot readiness. To qualify for Part 135 commercial operations, pilots must meet stringent standards, including a 500-hour minimum total flight time requirement to serve as pilot-in-command (PIC). Training programs now include Supervised Operating Experience (SOE), focusing on dynamic urban environments and EV toll-specific challenges, such as energy management and semi-autonomous flight systems. Flight schools and training centers are already adapting their curriculums to include powered lift aircraft. According to the FAA's projections, over 500 pilots will be trained in powered lift operations within the first year of implementation, with that number expected to grow to 5,000 by 2030. This scaling reflects the rapid pace of EV toll adoption and the growing demand for skilled pilots. The FAA's regulations emphasize safety and reliability requiring operators to adhere to performance-based standards. These include maintaining specific altitude and speed restrictions to prevent conflicts with other aircraft, transitioning between helicopter-like and airplane-like rules depending on the flight phase. Maintenance programs tailored to EV tolls are another critical component. Operators must address the unique challenges of electric propulsion systems, battery reliability, and frequent urban operations. The FAA works with manufacturers to ensure these systems meet strict safety standards while allowing flexibility for innovation. For urban operations, the FAA is also collaborating with city planners to design vertiports, specialized hubs for takeoff and landing. These vertiports must meet stringent criteria for safety, including clearance zones, lighting, and integration with existing infrastructure like rooftops and parking lots. Seamlessly integrating EV tolls into the NAS is crucial for their success. While the concept of low-altitude urban corridors has been discussed, the FAA has opted for a phased approach, allowing airspace strategies to evolve alongside operational data. Key measures include ensuring powered lift aircraft adhere to traditional air traffic communication protocols, collaborating with urban planners and industry stakeholders to manage airspace efficiently, particularly in congested cities. Advanced automation and navigation systems are central to this integration, reducing pilot workload and ensuring situational awareness during complex urban operations. 
One of the most interesting aspects of these regulations is the introduction of a special Federal Aviation Regulation, or SFAR, which will last for 10 years. Think of the SFAR as a testing phase. It's designed to gather data and refine the rules for powered lift operations as the industry evolves. During this period, operators will need to report detailed information about their flights, such as flight hours, weather conditions, and any incidents. This data will help the FAA assess how well the regulations are working and identify areas for improvement. The SFAR also allows the FAA to adapt the rules as new technologies emerge. For an industry that's evolving as quickly as EV tolls, this flexibility is crucial. It's a way for the FAA to stay ahead of the curve while ensuring safety remains a top priority. The Powered Lift SFAR is a turning point, setting the stage for EV tolls to revolutionize urban transportation. Globally, these efforts align with similar initiatives by aviation authorities like EASA, reflecting a unified commitment to innovation and safety. EV tolls promise to reshape cities by offering cleaner, faster alternatives to traditional transportation. However, public trust remains crucial. The FAA's balanced approach addresses safety, environmental impact, and scalability, ensuring these innovations are embraced as transformative solutions rather than risky experiments. Imagine booking an air taxi as easily as calling an Uber. That's the future these rules are working to create, and it might be closer than you think. Of course, there are still challenges ahead. Smaller startups might struggle with the cost of meeting these new certification and training requirements. And while Vertiports are a step forward, many cities don't yet have the infrastructure to support large-scale EV toll operations. There's also the issue of international coordination. The FAA's rules are groundbreaking, but they may not align perfectly with regulations from other aviation authorities like ESA in Europe. This could complicate efforts to create a global framework for EV toll operations. Still, these challenges are part of the growing pains for an industry poised to transform transportation. The potential benefits far outweigh the hurdles, especially when you consider how EV tolls could reduce traffic congestion and lower carbon emissions in cities. What do you think about the FAA's Powered Lift SFAR? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love our related video on EV toll pilot training. Are we ready for the next generation of aviation? Discover the challenges and innovations in training the pilots who will fly us into the future.